Hey everybody. So if you've been following along the entire Make About build I've been doing, I am now into just about the last stages of assembly. This is it's called the automated build platform and basically what it does is once you finish printing a piece the uh, there's a mechanism under here which basically operates a roller and the piece gets shoved off and if you got a print queue going another piece starts building itself so this is a little bit of complexity it's probably going to be the most complex soldering job that I'll ever do on this and uh, I've got all the parts here together I think the directions I've gone through them all there's fifty something pages here and I've got the wiki open as well just for additional reference if I need it. Uh, straight up, there's one possible issue where they only give you one piece of wire. The directions say to cut both ends off of it and use it for this motor here. But then a few pages later, they say you need some wire. So uh, I don't know how much space is needed for the motor, how much wire is really needed, what kind of length. So I do have spare wire around, that's not a problem in my case, but if you're going to be doing one yourself, here's the picture. So they tell you to strip off both ends of the wire that comes with it, and this is the wire, so you can use it here, and then they've got a picture of another piece of wire there, and uh, they don't give you another piece of wire. So I could cut this in half, but because I don't know how long a piece I need, I'm just going to use it all and not worry about it as I do have more but you may need some more as well yourself I got my soldering iron over here it's not totally convenient but this is going to be easier than having to uh, drag the soldering gun or drag all the pieces over to my model workbench let me uh, move a couple things around here and with that I think we're just about ready to go and first up is a really nice simple piece of soldering and that's taking this two pin connector here and assembling it to uh, soldering it rather here so what I'm going to do is the direction seems to be fairly logically laid out and rather than trying to solder the two pieces together they suggest that you put a little solder on the wire first. Even this is going to be difficult without any helping hands or anything to hold the wire. I'm sure something can be said about uh, soldering stuff around or near paper because this is set at uh, just about 600 something degrees. And of course here it says you'll want to hold the header down while you do this and if you don't have any way to hold it down, then you're kind of out of luck there. Yeah, so let me see if I can dig up some helping hands. So I don't necessarily trust the solder joint, it's a little too loose. 
Whereas the directions just have you touching the points of the wires here, what I probably would do myself is actually tightly wrap the wire around there and then solder that for a better mechanical connection and then uh, solder on top of that. But this does seem to be fairly solid and as long as it doesn't get wiggled around too much, it's probably going to be okay. And then we'll pull out some of this uh, tape here. It's called Captain. Initially looking at it, I figure it's just standard copper tape, but maybe it isn't. If I can find where to peel it. Oh, so this really is transparent as it suggests. And, uh,. What I'll do here is start the tape off on the inside of the wires. And we'll chop some of this off. Doesn't say how tightly to wrap this. That's it for that end. Now I am going to chop this in half. What the hell, let's take the risk. This motor shouldn't have to reach too far away from the board itself, and if I have to redo it, so be it. So that's handy. Positive is a uh, little red dot here, and usually I stick with red for positive, black for negative, just out of a long term habit. Probably one of the most basic, simple rules you can do for electronics is just keeping things consistent. And red black is fairly standard as far as that goes. So there we go. I've got the temperature set to about 
750 right now and that definitely melts the solder a lot faster and easier. So for me I guess that's going to be the temperature I stick with. So that's all set there. Pretty soon the helping hands aren't going to be so helpful anymore and uh, it's coming up right now basically. So we need a few things here. Two pin header, the three pin header, the thermistor. I'll uh, probably need the razor blade, just a little bit of wire, and the hot pad, and two ultra freaking small resistors, which are going to be the most difficult. So, a nice little trick they're suggesting here is rather than trying to hold things in place, such as these little guys here. I can show you how small that is. So that's actually that little dark spot in the middle for the uh, resistor. So it's a really freaking small piece of technology right there. What I was going to do is take a little bit of solder, chop it with a razor blade and drop it on here. What they're suggesting is simply I could work the shadows out of this place is taking a little bit of solder and pre-melting it on.